another thing you got to check out another place I went uh, for restaurant week. Um, and, uh, I, I, I would have brought the growlers, but they are, they are, did you drink them already? Corey? They're all gone. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So the growlers are really awesome. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll put a picture up of kind of what they look like here. Um, uh, so much beer, so little price. Um, and you get to keep the growler, which yes. is great. I mean, those are so, the three different kind of styles there. Mm -hmm. Um, beautiful, beautiful. And you can also get them refilled. Yes. So it doesn't cost as much the next time you can come and get it refilled. I think for $13, I think it averages about four beers. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's, that's perfect because we're heading into our out and about. Okay. Yes. And this is exciting. This is exciting. We'll explain. We'll explain it in the out and about. But one thing we do want to put a little asterisk on mm -hmm. is, uh, and you'll you'll get this later. Just stay tuned. Um, we do. We talk about some flights. Yep. Um, this is a team Corey, team Emily thing. We'll explain the rules, like I said, in the out and about. But the asterisk is, since you can't go in and enjoy the flight, you gotta get a growler from one of the the beers that we chose in our flights. Yes. Okay. That's 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 the key. Since it's takeout now, but. But you can still get the flight. You can. But you can also get the growler to go, which is probably what you'll want to do. That that that's what she said. What she said. So check out the out and about. Without further ado, let's see it. What's up, Woodford? What's up, Woodford? We are here today at Vercel's Brewing Company. Corey, what do you know about Vercel's Brewing Company? Uh, I know that they brew their own beer. They sure do. And <laughs> what they also do is they have locally grown and fed beef here. So yes. all their sirloins, their burgers, top notch. But what do burgers pair well with, Corey? Uh, beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. That's I mean, right. Of course, beer. What about a whole flight of beer? <gasps> How about that? What about? All right. So what we're going to bring to you today, guys, is a Team Emily, Team Corey challenge. Corey, what's that look like? Oh, my gosh. So I'm super excited about this, especially because the potential that if you lose, what you have to do. Or what you are going to have to See, do. See, I don't think like that. I got I to gotta keep my eyes on the prize, okay? <laughs> that flight is half full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so this is it. So Team Corey team em versus Team Emily. Come in. All right. We're each going to have our own. Come into Vercel's Brewing Company. We're going to each have our own flights. So that's four beers from town, all locally brewed right here. here. Come try my flight or Emily's flight. For my flight. And the, lo and the loser, get this. This is big. All right. <laughs> this is funny. The loser is going to have to stand on a popular corner in Versailles and Midway. And. And Midway. Oh, we can't, we got we, we to spread this out a little bit. I'm going for to at least such. <laughs> for at least, I'd say at least 15, 30 minutes each, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be consecutively. But. Not only that, but they have to stand there with a sign that says, you lost. <laughs> Team Emily is a loser. No, I will say Team Emily ruthless, loses. You guys. Okay, that's ruthless. This is his idea, obviously. And you have to be dressed in one of those blow-up T-Rex costumes. What? <laughs> so. And the thing is, y'all, Corey just randomly shame, has this T-Rex costume. So th this thing exists. This is really going to happen. Yeah. So what we need yeah. you to do, you have one week to do this, you guys. Right here, Vercel's Brewing Company in the old Kmart U-Haul yep. um, parking lot is where there they are. are. They have long hours. They have keynote. They have great food mm -hmm. and they have great brews. So definitely come in this week and check out Team Emily versus Team Corey. You want to go check out the beers? Let's go check out the beers. Here we go. <laughs> All right, friends, here we are at Vercel's Brewing, about to see what Team Emily has in store for your flight. Miss Becky, what do we have? You guys, this is Becky Jennings, general manager here at Vercel's Brewing, Great Woodford County, and she has brought me this awesome Team Emily flight. And we have master brew with us, Mark Phipps. Mark, tell me what I have here on my flight. Okay, you've got four of my creations. Uh, the first one is my Hell Yes Hellas Lager. Uh, it's all German uh, in malt and hops. The um, uh, second one is my Prince Maddock. Uh, it's, a, it's a Welsh ale, uh, blonde. And uh, the third one is the Woco, which is our, our wheat beer, Woco for Woodford County. Wheat, and then the, it's a Belgian style wheat beer. And then the last one is our newest uh, uh, offering, which is a, uh, our Spike Hard Seltzer which comes in multiple flavors and you chose lemon lime 
So that's your lemon lime spike hard seltzer. And you flavor it. So it comes with the seltzer and then you get to flavor it. You can pick your flavor. There's multiple flavors. I went with lemon lime today and you do it with real Real fruit right. concentrates, no flavoring, uh, no, no artificial flavors, no even natural flavors. They're, they're actually real fruit flavors. You all, this is amazing. You can get a growler here, so you can get a growler to go. It's a good kind of um, piece that you can keep as a souvenir as well. Um, but I'm excited to try these four flavors. All right, now is the time. Now you, sh now you need to be paying attention. The last part, don't even worry about. This is the part you have to pay attention to. Becky, I am ready. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh boy. Mr. Mark, I'm Mas back. Master okay. Brewer, tell All me, right. sir. So you've got uh, four uh, of my other creations. The first one, uh, the lightest colored one there, is my legit cream ale. Ooh, it's um, legit. It is legit. It is uh, exactly reminiscent of a brew that I made in Cincinnati for 16 years. Yeah? Uh, a, a very special cream ale that many people will know. Fantastic. Uh, but this is the legit but this is, recipe. Remind me again for all those um, hashtag Team Corey, maybe even for the, the Team Emily players. Uh, this is your best serve? This is your, the, the one a, people It's order? the best seller. Best seller? Yeah. So this, okay, this is the best seller. A lot so. of people remember that beer. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's nostalgic. It's in my flight. Yeah, the <laughs> second one is my Waves of Grain Amber. Uh, which is a classic amber, which is one of as an American style mm -hmm, beer mm -hmm. with with amber uh, with uh, American hops and grains. The, uh, the third one is the um, print or the um, uh, Munich Wallaby. Uh, Wallaby, which is uh, an IPA. It's a New England style IPA with some kind of whimsical hops uh, from Australia <laughs> and whimsical. From, I like and that. And from uh, Bavaria. Bavaria. So that's why Munich Wallaby. And then, Beautiful. Uh, the last one is only available until it runs out, which is my Oktoberfest. Uh, it's called Harvest, and it's a, it's a true Merzen style Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. You heard it, you heard it guys. You got to come here. Oktoberfest. You got to get here because this could be, you gotta, it's, it's going to run out. You got to get here now. Get here right now. Drop what you're doing. I don't care what time it is. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these. I'm going to try. I'm going to try these right now. Here we go. All right. 